I love doing biology. <laughs> no, because someone's going to watch all the biosciences video because that's what I did, and they're going to they're going to be like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's like a big puzzle, and you mm -hmm. add pieces on it to complete it. Yeah. Did you know I'm adenosine? Because I can't wait to be paired with you. That's it. It's how you chat wow. with chat with a biologist. Do you see biology? Biology jokes, yeah. Uh, that was not time. Okay, wait, okay, go, 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 go. Scene one, take, take two. two. Right, biochemistry is the basis of so much. Because oh. medicine is biochemistry. The more and you that's... realize biochemistry is a yes. lot of everything. Like, a, like, biochemistry is quite literally, it's part of a lot of sciences. And without it, like, there is literally nothing. We got taught about the enzyme that stonewashes genes. A lot of the unis I looked at just had biological science, one degree that I would pick from. Here, yeah. there was like eight, nine different degrees within biosciences that you could pick and like almost mix and match between. Yeah, and also, they weren't going to make me do plants if I didn't want to. <laughs> I feel like I've always, I've always been very curious about nature, but I think it's just grown even more now that I'm here. Like I just, I don't, I'm more exposed to like all the different things there are to study and like you know learn about. Yeah, and the satisfaction of like, oh my god, I finally get it. Yeah, like we just... were learning, we were doing atmospheric sciences mm. and like learning how clouds form and things. Something you see every day. It's like mm. wow, now yeah, I understand. Yeah. Langster University as opposed to other universities that had a bigger breadth of domains within biology, so we could explore more medical field, but also a more geology field. Sometimes lecturers will bring into um, example like the work that they're currently doing or things they found out. Like one of the lecturers have found out this like gene that's involved in genetic diseases, and she just kind of drops it into she the end of it. She dropped it in the end of the lecture and was like, oh, the thing that I've talked to you about for this whole like 50 minute lecture, oh, I actually discovered this. And you're just like, <laughs> you're like hold on, what? <laughs> you, you discovered that. Sometimes you just forget that these people, yeah, they actually do science, work. get so into university or doing your lectures. Yeah. And I went to look up someone to, be, to email them, I went to go search their email address, and it listed all his research under his email address. And I went, oh, he's, he's doing chemistry, he's a chemistry lecturer who works in the chemistry of DNA. It's like, so cool. We were just like walking through like a cow like field and we just saw cows. I'm like, oh, okay, we'll probably look at the cows. But no, she like turns towards like a massive like pile of like dung and starts like getting gloves and like scoping through it, trying to find like beetles. I would never expect a lecturer to be like digging through a massive pile of dung to eat for beetles. So all these times you see little fruit flies around your like, yeah, fruit house. and you're like, <laughs> spot them, you're like, actually, that's great science, that. <laughs> I didn't realise how tiny I am in this world. Oh. Like, yeah. after, like learning ecology and things, mm. and you like learn like population of krill. Oh, yeah. It's like, like massive, bigger, than, bigger, than, a, bigger like, than the human population. You just realise how much appreciation you have for nature. Yeah. And just like how little we know. You study genetics, you study viruses, you study about diseases. You can solve problems in the real world. Whatever we'll discover if we continue doing research is still one important element that then thousands of future researchers will be based on what we did. Like every part of the puzzle is important if you want to get a full picture. My grandma had Alzheimer's and to like learn about that and sort of have a connection with that's really interesting. And thinking about how you can make treatments for that, like on a molecular level, is really interesting. And the fact that that would literally change the world. There's a new hope, not in the older generation, but in the newer generation, in which we've all been brought up with, like mm. David Attenborough saying, mm. like, the Earth is in trouble. It's being threatened by so many environmental issues, such as climate change. I think seeing so many like people are passionate about, and not just yeah. the students, but also like the lecturers who talk about their research and what they're interested in and what they're like working on. And I just, just seeing all of them being so passionate about it and actually like all the cool things that they're discovering. It gives us more hope. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully. Ho hopefully. Mm -hmm. hopefully. Yeah. hopefully.